Hello you guys, Sentinel6 Gaming here with another video, but this is gonna be uh, quite a long video. This is an ultimate command block tutorial. I'm gonna go over all these commands, which are basically all the commands in the game, but they're not uh, really specific per command. I'm just gonna go over them, teach you how to use them, simple. And uh, it will be a very long, very, very long video, um, but I hope it will be worth it. It also took a lot of preparation, so I'm gonna go over a few commands. I specified them in a few categories. So I'm the basic Minecraft commands. Just uh, I put them in one group. The scoreboard commands, uh, with how you set up a scoreboard, what you can do with the scoreboard, game rules, all the game rules. I'm gonna show um, test for and how do you specifiers for the test for and basically a lot of commands can use specifiers server commands which uh, you can skip because these are just your servers I think I'm gonna end with those that you can click it away if you don't care about that and uh, 13 w 36 b snapshot sh snapshot uh, commands that were added in the snapshot I cannot pronounce that that was stupid um, but yeah there are quite a bit a lot of commands so um, I just I'm gonna set it to peaceful real quick and we're gonna start off here I guess so what have I got set up first I've got uh, the slash effect command which basically gives you potion effects without having to use a potion and it can give it to a player anywhere in the world and it's really easy to use actually because you've got the slash effects then the spe uh, that one who you want to target that's really basic ne the nearest player I've got it to you can also target a random or all players so it guns is one which is speed this is the dura the duration which is 200 second 200 seconds and then it is speed 3 so I now have speed 3 and now I don't have this one set up but you can also do sla slash effect clear no that not it oh yeah I gotta use my name always because otherwise it don't doesn't know who to clear so and now I don't have any more so next the slash enchant command uh, once again slash enchant at B and A at R it really doesn't matter then 16 which is the enchantment command I picked so I'm just gonna get I forget if it was armored a little while ago I set this up and it's level 5 is it yeah it was sharpness 5 so basically this will give your sword sharpness 5 um, and see if I have a bow here it won't do anything it only works with swords so yeah also a uh, very useful command clear inventory so clear your inventory it will clear your inventory basically because um, all the items in your inventory will disappear so yeah look Oof. and it will say how many items it removed 382 I don't think that right that's right oh wait I had a bunch of items here ah ignore that um, the slash give command is basically slash give at p again and then 137 is uh, the ID of a command block I like to use this this is the quantity how much you want so also a really basic easy command it will just give you a command block every time I click it so yeah that's really easy you go uh, I'll have to, uh, by the way I have lists of all the effect and enchantment and block IDs and all those IDs I'll have lists of those linked in the description below next we've got the slash TP command so it's slash TP another one of those at P at R at A we, uh, it every command uses those uh, so we've got minus 366 those are basically coordinates if you press F3 you can see them X I and Z the rest you don't have to use no after the I don't know what you call it anymore but uh, it will basically TP me to the beginning <laughs> that's how I've got it set up so oh here it is and then we've got change game mode um, this will set my game mode to creative basically it's slash game mode one is creative zero survival and two is adventure mode and um, then 
actually here the specifier of who the uh, it's target to goes at the end of the command and to know so um, I'll be back in a minute cuz I'm running out of disk space so I need to set something up with Fred and we're back um, I just had to clean up some disk space went pretty easy so um, next we're gonna go with a pretty easy command toggle downfall well it will basically if it's raining and snowing it will make it stop raining or snowing if it isn't it will make it rain or snow it only snows in snow biome so in a minute it should be raining it says there as you can see toggle downfall but it doesn't seem to be raining yet and that is quite weird but it is a working command it says it w it said it worked so yeah also if you want to do more direct you can set the slash weather command and slash weather rain this will make it rainy weather hello don't see any rainy weather happening oh lag a bit nothing happening but it said it worked once again pretty weird um, wait just a minute particles should be on that's weird and rain e weather it should be raining right now I it is a working command once again but it doesn't seem to be working right now rain and thunder which will basically be like rain and thunder uh, it is lagging I just don't think it can load the command quite good it's being weird but thunder weather also you've got cloudy if I'm right but cloudy doesn't quite work as far as I know um, really weird so we've got slash spawn point so uh, oh wait this one isn't set up right just a minute uh, I don't know why it's laggy but um, maybe I'll have to turn the particles off again I don't know uh, so basically it will set my spawn point at the exact position that I'm standing at when I press the button and if I die then I will spawn there it, I'll show it when and I'll show it to you right now wait just a minute okay it's being really weird I'm sorry for that oh no oh it's being alright okay slash spawn point and now set my spawn point to right over there and now if you do slash kill respawn we'll respawn here so pretty easy command once again ah dang it why is it lagging graphics too fast does that help yeah that helps apparently okay what the hell it's lagging again it just it's just not working okay slash difficulty you can use numbers or just peaceful easy hard normal stuff you know but it's just slash difficulty no specifier or anything for this it's just change the difficulty um, and now it's peaceful it was already peaceful but once again in the chat you can see that it worked now next um, I don't think I need to that's a wrong order I think no it's not the wrong order so you've got slash time set which I apparently don't have set up so I can set time to zero because it's night right now I don't like that and then um, I will I can keep adding 2500 to the time with this command uh, yeah you don't actually need the slash in command book but a lot of times I just do it so yeah it's really easy both of them slash set time zero it's zero again and uh, wait so that's the command in case you didn't catch it and you just can't get it on pause right so now slash me always works uh, here at a got killed um, if I actually do this in the chat got killed it will say my name and now what you can do with slash me if you name the command block it will say the command blocks name got killed and um, slash tell is basically it tells it to one specific player or to f1 if you set the at a and not just in the comment chat so here whispers to you and then we've got slash say which just like in the chat it says something which Africa everyone can see hello I'm a giant alligator 
I don't know why I set that up like that, but doesn't matter. So XP command slash XP thousand XP uh, at B, and it will give me XP basically. Also, you can do minus, and it will remove XP, right? Right? Why isn't root working? Yeah, but you can add XP. Pretty, pretty uh, basic. Also, um, now that's already the scoreboard. We need to get going with the game rules. So, game rule number one here, natural regeneration. Important with the game rules, look carefully at the signs, because the caps, the capital uh, letters, they need to be capital. If they aren't, then, well, that's, they should be, because otherwise the command won't work. So, it's always slash game rule, then the game rule, this is natural regeneration with will toggle if you regenerate health or not so you can have a full health bar but uh, food bar but not regenerate if you have this on false so I can turn this on false and if I go to game mode zero and uh, yeah my uh, my thing won't go down that's just kind of stupid but if it goes down I won't naturally regenerate I still have a bunch of XP from that command okay <laughs> next do tile drops two capitals in here that's, uh, with tile and drops um, also false or true slash game rule that's the basic I'm just gonna show what they all do do tile drops will basically toggle if you place a block and you destroy if you destroy a block it won't um, drop an item oh uh, it won't drop the block if you've got this on true it will when it, you've got it on false um, do mob spawning which basically toggles if mobs spawn or not so what you can do with this you can turn it off then um, mobs won't spawn but it will can, it's still easy and you can spawn them and control mob spawning with dispensers do mob loot it um, toggles if entities um, entities um, mobs and npcs i get uh, i guess do drop items really basic also i can go over these pretty fast do daylight cycle it toggles if um, the daylight cycle actually goes. So if you get set this on false during the day, it will always stay day. It will never become night and other way around. So yeah, that one. Slash game rule, do fire tick. The do fire tick toggles if um, fire will spread basically. So if, you go, if you've got on false, fire won't spread. It will stay exactly where it is. If you've got on true, everything will burn down. Slash game rule command block output. Command block output the uh, toggles if well basically if in the chat yeah so far you've seen um, no game rule called natural gener regeneration is available. What uh, I think I've got a capital there, but that's the right one. I will also set the wiki page of the command blocks uh, down below, which shows all the commands and specifiers also a little bit again. So given thousand experience um this basically toggles that so that it doesn't show that anymore because otherwise in custom maps uh with a lot of command blocks your sp uh, chat will basically just get spammed um keep inventory if you die you keep your inventory if you get it on true you don't lose your items if you go it's by default on false i'm not gonna say all the default settings but on false if uh, you lose your items and then game room mob grieving it will um if you've got this in false, things like creepers and the wither and ghosts won't be able to destroy blocks. They will, ex uh, the explosions will be there. They will do you damage, but they won't destroy any blocks. I like to use this a lot um, in all of my worlds so that my sh uh, stuff doesn't get destroyed. And uh, yeah, those were the game rules. I think yeah, those were the game rules. Now, now we're getting to the test four command with specifiers. So first we've got test four. Wait, you got the. You have to have them in the square bracket. Test for at p at the com uh, at these com uh, coordinates with a radius of one. So the test for uh, for someone who's in a radius of one of those coordinates. So um, what were the co coordinates? Min three hundred and sixty-six. You got that one. Seventy-five. So you have to be one up. One eighty-nine. Um, I'm not in creative anymore. I'm smart. Uh, but basically, 
Um, it will test if someone's there. Now I don't have comparator set up to it. Um, I might I might do that really fast to sh just show, cause um, if you put a comparator right there, it will test. I'm. I oh no, wait. I need to jump. Otherwise, I can just set this to sixty by fifty six, right? Why are things not working? It might be because I'm in the snapshot, snapshot, but this actually works. Oh, crack the scan again. Again, <laughs> great. That might be why. Yep, and um, the comparator won't turn off, but it basically works that way. Um, also, you can just test for only the radius. Just someone in the within a radius of two of the command block. So. Maybe you can do that. Yes, you can. You can test for just a radius, also, and you can test for a maximum radius, which is R M instead of just R. Also, this is X equals then the coordinates, then uh, that thing. I, <laughs> I keep forgetting it. Um. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, R M for max, and uh, just R for the minimum radius. Now. The you can also test for game mode, which is M. It tests for someone in survival. Doesn't matter who it is, just the nearest player in survival. I click it now. There's no one in survival. If I go back to game mode zero, I click it. It activates. So yeah, I'll go back to in into creative now. And now you can also test. I'm going pretty fast. You have to pause the video if you can't follow it. But I'm going over them really fast, just showing what you can do with them. You'll have to listen it again, really remember it, and you'll be able to use command blocks. So next one is count. It will um, test for a count of players. If there aren't uh, like that many players in the world, or um, it will test now basically for the nearest one player. You can set this to like 20. If there aren't 20 people in the server or something, nothing. Uh, it won't get activated. That basically it um, the maximum level is L equals 4 so the maximum level is 4 I'm above 4 right now so it won't activate if I click it and we've got test for minimum level which is LM equals 2 so if you're between 2 and 4 it will activate you can also do that like create a, ma a minimum and a maximum and you have to be through between those um, I think for most of these categories I will also make videos maybe per category if you want to go more deep into them um, you can tell me uh, below if you want that so um, you can test for scoreboard things like uh, kills a scoreboard with kills minimum kills is four and then here oh no wait this is max it says no this should be minimum and then this is no with scoreboard it works different if there's nothing it's the max amount of kills and if there is something it's minimum account of kills because this is min equals so uh, no bracket there always between the square brackets these uh, specifiers so yeah got that one um, then we've got teams and names so slash um, test for at the team red it will test for the team you're on um, I'll be going over what the teams are later those are related with the scoreboards which are actually next and then the test for name it will test for a specific name so you can make uh, something work for just one person one specific person and that's me in this case it's me so yeah and then we've got the scoreboard commands I don't know how long I've been recording but I think I'm doing it pretty fast but I hope I'm doing it good down below <laughs> score uh, so uh, first of all we're gonna add a scoreboard slash scoreboard objectives add kills that's the name so I'm gonna go uh, split this up a little bit more scoreboard um, is the basic one objectives is what kind of command um, you've got three objectives players and let me think Do I set display no uh, doesn't matter I guess I can test out really quickly Step completion list add remove set display Oh no wait, this is objectives, I need to use objectives, players, teams. Oh yeah, how could I have forgotten teams? I just talked about that. And I typed slash. So, um, 
I've got objectives add kills the name of the thing I'm gonna add it's gonna be what's gonna display is the name total kill count is um, all mobs you kill all entities um, you've got also got player kill count which is all player kills and that's that count actually um, that count uh, the C and count is with a capital and with player kill count the kill and the count are with a capital not the player and here you can see I just want to make that clear because I don't want you messing up the capitals those are really really important set display so you can set display to three places oh wait first to use this I'm gonna actually add hold on wait just a minute why isn't this working why aren't my commands working properly hmm. count isn't with a capital of course yep <laughs> now um, set display sidebar the bars with uh, capital B and then the thing you wanna display which is kills um, I called it so we've got sidebar got here on the side below name below name is when someone's in the server you see their name above their head and then below below that you will see uh, you can display their health or their deaths that kind of stuff and you can display it in the uh, display it in the list if you display it in the list it will display it and uh, when you press tab in a server so I can say open to LAN real click quick like that and if I press tab oh no wait it doesn't work on LAN only if someone joins so um, when I press tab then it will display behind someone's name next we can add kills we can give or self kill so let's just set it to a uh, sidebar real quick we can give or self kills we can ki actually kill or we can just say slash scoreboard players players is the other one um, only used for adding and removing kills actually uh, kills the thing you want to add the scoreboard you want to add it to and then add an amount you want to add and also not working maybe uh, I'm not really on top of it but I know these commands but sometimes little mistakes are made slash scoreboard players Well, I guess I'll demonstrate first um, that the kills actually work. Um, zombie, why not? Oh no, wait, I said too easy. Um, let's make this easy on ourselves and just kill a sheep. So now I've got one kill, and you should be able. Uh, wait just a minute, gonna fix this. Come on. I'm the smartest person in the world. I'm the smartest person in the world. What? No. It should be working now. And it adds two kills. So it's the same. Um, this one should be the same. It isn't because I'm stupid. But um, then it's remove at B kills two. And it removes two kills. So yeah, you can also set up, uh, by the way, with. Um, I forgot the dummy and health. Health can be uh, displayed below name, really good. And uh, now you've got dummy. It can be basically anything you want. Dummy um, only adds points um, with other command blocks, so that's what dummy can be used for. Also, clear scoreboards. Um, that's not actually your working command. Just kidding with you. You have to actually use the name of the scoreboard. Um, what? I mean, is this a chat only command? Scoreboard objectives. Yeah, clear. Kills. Ah, come on. Oh no way. I'm stupid. Sir. Uh, I'm stupid again. Remove. Kills. Oh, clear. Clear. That's stupid. So now it's gone. Just gone. So we can make teams now that's what we're gonna go over next scoreboard teams this time and then we're gonna add a team by writing add 
the name of the team and this is um, I I actually don't know exactly what it's for but it's basically uh, oh yeah this is your display friendly name of the team and this is the technical name of the team that's gonna be displayed in the command blocks and all that kind of stuff and then we're gonna again uh, so team awesome was officially added now and now uh, we can remove team awesome but we want team awesome because it's awesome with um, basically scoreboard teams remove and name of the team which is awesome in this case um, add a player scoreboard teams and then join and then name of the team it's uh, going to join and uh, I just used at P you can also use any of the specifiers I went over earlier but I'm now in team awesome now we can also remove a player S uh, scoreboard teams leave leave is for leaving the team and the name of the team which is again in this case awesome I used at P again because I didn't want to set up any of the specifiers it wasn't necessary so and I'm not more uh, in awesome anymore um, also, if I go ahead and join again, um, we can empty the team scoreboard teams again, empty, and then the name of the team. So now um, I'm removed again. But if there were more po uh, people in the team, they would be removed too. Everyone would be removed from the team. Also, we can change the uh, we can set the display to teams and all that stuff. So. Um, well basically you can change the color of your team name if, uh, so if we f oh wait just a minute so if we set kills up again we set it to our display we add some kills and then um, I'm gonna add a player and then I'm gonna change the color so what you do scoreboard Oh, this need there needs to be teams first. Um, awesome option. So option is basically one of the because you can have several options. Next option is uh, right uh, over next to it. Awesome. Again, color. The color um, is basically like oh, I'm gonna change the color. That's the option you choose. And then purple because I want to set it to purple. And this should be working once again. So I checked, this should be working right now. So it's scoreboard, teams, option. Um, so that's the option. Then the name of the team. Uh, and then you want to change the color. So that's the color, uh, which is the option you chose. And the name of the color. I guess purple isn't working. I make the mis I made a mistake there. So what about magenta? I think that should be an E. Magenta. This no. Let's just uh, let's just go easy and use black. See black. My name is now black. It did work. I was just being. Uh, I chose the wrong color. So basically, uh, I think it keeps to the color of wolves you have. So you can like say um, pink. It's a possibility. You can just choose to, um, so everyone in the team will have that color name. Oh, I guess it doesn't do pink. So I, it doesn't do the wool colors. It just does names and stuff. Also, friendly fire. So once again, scoreboard teams option. Um, oh wait, red. Why do I have red there? It should be awesome. Um, <laughs> everything should be awesome. Friendly fire. And then this is works a bit like game rule, true or false. So basically, this means: can you uh, do you want people to hurt their teammates or not? So I can now set it to true, and um, I I can hurt my teammates now, my imaginary non-existent teammates. But those were the scoreboard commands, and now um, uh, this is the 13w6 uh, 36b. Um, part of the video. Um, wait just a minute. No, nothing. Um, so all these commands, um, they are actually just five. 
where all of the added in the new snapshot and after that I'm gonna go to serve commands which you can skip if you like that's why I'm doing that at the end we're beginning with slash summon command so this summons a mushroom cow at these coordinates so slash summon name of the entity um, and then the coordinates so how to get the name of the entity so you can basically use slash summon then tab tab completion and it will give you a list. Um, I'm sorry, these are two lists. I got it twice. But it starts with small fireball from right. No, it starts with mushroom cow, which I used. And after that, you can uh, you can check that out yourself if you have the snapshot. So there it is, a mushroom cow just summoned. And uh, now we can all actually. Um, bit of f around with those coordinates we can also do slash summon slime tittle 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 um, which will spawn at the command block but I don't want to suffocate so it will spawn three blocks above the command block wait just a minute need to turn it to easy again and it will spawn above the command block because this is the i coordinate and you can do that basically like one to the side two to the side to to the side and it will spawn it oh I suffocated it <laughs> but yeah that's really easy Elsa these are really basic because you can do a lot with the slash summon command I uh, that is gonna need a separate video this is just really basic summoning um, nothing special because otherwise the video would be too long so summon painting is an entity so one entity Tiddle, tiddle, two, tiddle, and then here we've got uh, really fancy brackets. Uh, capital R writing, um, double dots. Again, fancy, uh, fancy brackets, and then ID, double dots. Um, these things I don't know what to call them anymore. Sorry, not English. Um, bats with a capital B. Um, you can use any entity you want. Um, again, tab completion and two of the fancy brackets so this will summon a flying painting I found this out myself it's basically a painting riding a bat um, too bad though that after a while the painting falls off so also a lot of new scoreboard op options scoreboard objectives add I called it oxys stat.craftitem.5 basically go and get some oak wood and go to game mode zero. Wait just a minute. First I wanna click this. I wanna click this. Oh wait, I think I got the set display set wrong. Yeah, set D play. I'm smart. So um we can go into survival. Um um uh, so basically the start uh, it's just stat. You can also use achievements for scoreboard. A lot of options. I'll show that in a minute. Dot craft item, which is basically for craft. It keeps um, track of how many you've crafted one item. And five is the com uh, is the ID of the block you've crafted. So if I craft this, I've cra uh, I've crafted oak wood planks one time, which will set my score of oak seas to one. It's, um. I can show you right now actually scoreboard objectives add no why is it not working stuff sorry um um I had it just a minute ago We've got scoreboard objectives add. Um, yeah, but you've got a lot of these. All the crafting, I'll um, I'll set a list for that below too if can if I can find it. Um, a lot like killed ghosts or skilled by ghosts. Got this achievement. Stop recording there. Ran out of disk space. So I was talking about these commands. Incredible lot. It's just crazy. Um, I can't remember if it, I don't know if it captured this like um, what it actually does because now I craft oak wood planks it sets the two because I already did it but just be sure and uh, it's a really great thing I will set a list to it below um, if it 
succeeds if we can find it and the stuff get back into creative and now the last um, this command gives you achievements basically so this one um, I've got set up here gives me the achievement fly, uh, dot fly pig which is when pigs can fly I'll show it right here to you when pigs can fly fly a pig off a cliff taken um, that's basically because I tested out before recording and didn't reset anything or something so uh, those are basically the main commands I'm now gonna go over some server commands real fast so if you don't want this just skip away now first of all slash list um, these aren't actually command block commands most of them I'm just gonna go over them to make this free a really good tutorial for everyone list is basically uh, a list of everybody in the server um, and then we've got slash help which shows all the commands of the server you this can be set otherwise slash kill um, and only you can only kill other people if you're the executor I don't know how you become the executor but that is how it's possible otherwise you will just kill yourself slash whitelist which will show everybody on the whitelist the whitelist slash ban list which will show everyone who's banned slash publish I've got no idea what that does debug um, well basically makes your server faster fixes any problems I guess that's what it does so um, whitelist add remove on off reload you can reload the whitelist um, well I don't know why we would do that you can turn the whitelist off so anyone can join you can turn on so you can only your friends can join you can and then add remove you can add and remove your friends and uh, stuff so yeah slash whitelist add <laughs> and then we've got slash stop which will stop the server um, slash save off which will turn the auto save off I don't think you want that save on which will turn the auto save on save all which will save the world I uh, yeah slash pardon IP um, for that uh, and slash pardon our um, unban I have spent many time uh, typing unban but pardon IP you can ban IPs and you can ba just ban a player so pardon and pardon IP are different in that way OP um, which is the only uh, way you can use the all these commands um, DOP if you don't want someone to be OP anymore and um, ban IP which is the pardon IP opposite you can ban a whole IP just uh, the whole computer not just the thing you can just ban the IP and uh, kick which will kick them out of the server but they can join again ban they can never join again in the server until you unban them that went really fast um, the server commands but just real far quick those but this was a long video I hope you appreciated it I hope you learned something about command blocks that you can use these commands I will go more specific into groups of commands if you really want me uh, maybe even if you don't want me if nobody suggests it so I will maybe just still do it see how it works out so uh, yeah that was this uh, that was it for this video and uh, I'll see you next time have fun and make things what command blocks oh so you guys said no six gaming here ah, I didn't need to do that but uh so I made the command block tutorial but it isn't ended yet because I also included the snapshot commands just a minute ago and actually uh, 13w37b was released just after I was done recording so it added three new commands I'm gonna go over them really fast Why is that there? so first turn my volume off like that. Hope you could hear me just a minute ago. But yeah. So the first command is the set block command from 13w37b. In case you didn't hear it. So diddle 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 blah blah blah. It will place it one block above the command block. My and there's a new format instead of the data value of how to describe a block. So it's Minecraft stone and then you have stone underscore slab, gold underscore blog all those and those are way easier to memorize and just know um, this is the data value of the block so and then you have three different modes you have keep which basically if their block uh, the block is already there it will stay there nothing will happen and you have replace it will just replace the block and for the rest nothing will happen and then you have to destroy and uh, I've got destroy um, I think I'll 
particles here and you, as you can see you saw the particles it broke and it dropped a cobblestone and now if I set it to keep nothing happens because it's keeping the block that's already there and then replace also nothing but with like maybe a chest or a jukebox if there was something in it would drop that but not the uh, block itself then you have the slash style world command which can basically create these really awesome chat messages that you can click on so basically what it does when you click on the chat message if you're an OP in a server or just in a single player world it will uh, let you run a command and that is um, yeah basically that allows you to do some really cool stuff but it's har really hard to use because it used the JSON format which I think is also in Java it's also in JavaScript if I'm right so uh, pretty hard to use that's why I don't have anything else set up behind here which can basically like set a text and if you click on that text it will do something and that or the like uh, I don't know so yeah that's basically the slash tail roll command and you can now also test for blocks so this tests if this block is there so if I test now positive because the block is there if I destroy it test again it's gonna go off uh, so I can press it again and yeah that's basically um, slash test for block um, coordinates or the tittle stuff and then um, either the data value or the new format for minecraft block IDs so yeah that's all um, three really useful commands uh, and now that really were all the commands so goodbye oh, that was really it but yeah so now those were all commands so please tell me do you want me to go into the snap uh, shot commands really deep on how to use them yeah, more com uh, complicated and uh, scoreboard commands how to use those more complicated do some awesome stuff with that tutorials and um, well basically the scoreboard and those commands you can really do some awesome stuff with that can go really deep in that I I really can and um, the test for I think I could go deeper into that but really the server commands and the basic commands and uh, I really can't go much deeper with that because the test for and the specifiers all those specifiers can be used for those but for the rest nothing really special so um those were all the commands really and now let's go to a beautiful outro